Hello, Hi. Steve. How are you, sir? I'm well. How are you? Good. You hear me well? Yes. Okay. So let me jump in and start showing you how our platform will help you. So here we can log in. You can log into the platform. I'll show you the main overview of our dashboard. So the dashboard, as you can see here, we have small widgets, like uh, how many invoices you got, how many hours you build this week or this month, how many invoices uh, total generated, how many customer you recruited. So that you can see on a weekly scale, monthly, quarterly, yearly scale. And here we can see like the bigger widgets, like a calendar or how many leads converted to customers and how many total invoices you created, your employees, to-do list. If you want to add more widgets, you can just click here and you can, for example, click sales growth. Or if I want to display my employees, I can click here and my employees will be displayed here. So you can change and custom uh, play with the dashboard. And if you want to learn about our system, we have here video tutorials that you can literally like play and pause and play with the system. So it's not like blogs that you need to start reading. You can always go to our tutorials and every feature you can actually learn by clicking play and pause. Nice. So now before I start going with you step by step, I prefer to ask you what will be like the main features that your company is looking for. And I'll try just to explain you those features. So uh, your daily operation will be more effective. So yeah, one of my big concerns or what I'm looking for is estimating. Okay, so estimating, for example, we have uh, multiple ways to get to estimates. And uh, here we have a shortcut uh, feature. So when you click here, you can see all our dashboard. So for example, if you want to estimate, you can just click here on estimates. And to estimate for a client, you can click here, create estimate. And so nice. for example, let's put a name of a customer. You just click on it, it will give you the address and you can start typing step-by-step -step, like DVR or whatever item you need and keep adding rows and keep adding items. Okay, or we have another option to make your life much easier. We created the packages, so you can create different packages types. Okay. And then you can just click and choose a package. So for example, I have an alarm kit, I click on that. It fills out this quote for me. And maybe you need more motion sensors or more whatever it is, you can just change two, four, whatever it is. And then the price changes, and then you have a total number of, you know, 590. You can add a discount, and you can add taxes to it. So you can have different types of taxes, and I can save and send it to my customer. So that will save you a lot of time. And if you have any attachments like spec file or stuff like that, you can click here and add an attachment for it. Yes. So let, let me just show you how it looks if I save it. So Let's say I save this one now, and I just want to show you the, the way it looks. So as you can see, our estimates, you can add pages to the front and back of the template. So it looks much more like a brochure, like for brand awareness. And if you compete with someone, it will look nicer. Yeah, professional. The estimate itself, you can have 30 different designs to choose from. And as you can see, you have date and signature, the sales tax and all. And then you can put another page in the back for the other services you offer. In this case, alarm, intercom, home theater, whatever you need. So these pages you can custom add. You can add multiple pages in the front and back. And then it, again, it looks like a brochure. It's nice. Okay. Is that something that that's what you were asking me about? No, it looks nice. Is something like this going to... Um, integrate with my QuickBooks, which I use. Yeah, so QuickBooks wise, uh, we have integration with QuickBooks. So when you go to settings and you set up your business profile, we can connect to your QuickBooks. And what, when you connect to QuickBooks, uh, there are four things that going back and forth uh, syncing with QuickBooks. So for example, 
the estimates, invoices, customers, and inventory are going back and forth. So if you create now an estimate in our system, it goes directly to QuickBooks in real time. Same on the other end, if you create something on QuickBooks, it comes to us. So you don't need manually to work back and forth. You just uh, be comfortable, just create it here. And if you want to keep using QuickBooks, everything will go to QuickBooks. In the long run, I don't think you're gonna use QuickBooks anymore, but you can do that, yes. Okay, and I could uh, transfer all my current customer uh, information to this? Yeah, so again, QuickBooks integration, all the customers can sync, and then all your customer getting linked in one click of a button, all your customers will be imported from QuickBooks. Uh, if you have other systems that you want to integrate customers, so you can click here on customers, and you can import customers from any other system as well. So Beautiful. QuickBooks and then any other system will come from here. What about, like, I don't take all the money up front, I get paid like, you know, half up front and then let's say the other half upon completion. Okay. Did you do a breakdown of payments? Yeah. So estimates on or invoices, let's say this quote that we just created, 595. Uh -huh. If you want to create a breakdown, we can create here setting. So you have payments set up. And you can say, you can break it down dollar-wise or percentage-based. And then you can say, okay, deposit, I want 50%. And then here you can add upon completion or when completed, I want another 50%. So it says here remaining 0%, zero, zero you click save. And then if I look at it again, you can see that this breakdown will come into play. So for example, here, you see now you have payment schedule that I added, deposit 50% upon completion or completed 50%. So when they sign that, that will be uh, that will be done. Okay. Okay. What else would you like to see, sir? Uh, my employees in the field or my technicians. What about like tracking their whereabouts throughout the day? Okay, so we have a GPS tracking feature. Uh, you have here a map feature. So if we click on the map, I'll show you how it works. So we have employees. When you click employee, you can look for any employee. Let's say Joe. So Joe Schmo, you see his car jumping. You can zoom in to his location and you can look at it in a satellite view. So you can zoom in and see exactly where he's located right now in real time. Now, beside that, we have another feature called job. And that gives you, you see this green pinpoint? Yes. <clears throat> so this green pinpoint means that there is a job that is already assigned to this house. Uh, but so if you create jobs that are not assigned, you're gonna see red pinpoints here and red pinpoints there. So you can click on the pinpoint and then assign members. So for example, if you look in a bigger scale, if you have three jobs here and three jobs there, you can assign all these three jobs to a specific member and all those jobs to a specific member just by clicking on that red dot and then assign the member so your members don't start traveling all over the map. So it's like a dispatching. Yeah, it's for dispatching. So you save time and money and you don't need to start Googling places and see what will be the best route. I don't know if you do it today, but uh, this is the idea of this module. Now, just one more thing, Steve, uh, if you're already asking about GPS tracking, this is for real time, everything I just showed you. If you want to look uh, on history, so you can the same, choose one of your members and you can look on a location-based on a past time frame, So you can say, okay, where my guy was from the 16th to the 27th. So you oh, can wow. do like that and it will give you like the breakdown of his location where he was all week long. Mm -hmm. Or if you want, you can want to see like how many invoices he created, jobs, whatever you want to know, you can, on the activity, you can search like past tense functionality and on the map is a real time uh, checking. Nice. Okay. Anything, what else would you like to see? 
Uh, just managing my customers. How would uh, how would that look? Okay, so customers is a big module. Um, on the customer end, we have um, on the main uh, view, as you can see here, I can click on any customer and you can see all the all the details that you need, like first name, last name, phone numbers, emails. Uh, if you have, you can create your own columns. Like if you need to add more fields, I'll show you how you do that as well. And then you have all the notes. You can start typing here and add notes and that will save it right here. So you can scroll down and see what's going on with that customer. You can see the map. And as well as you can add as many addresses as you want. So I can add as more and more addresses. So if, for example, it's McDonald's or it's a commercial branch, you can add more locations. So when you dispatch your technicians, actually, you can dispatch them to different addresses. As well as you have attachments, you can see all the files, all the images that you took from jobs, calls, call recording, SMS, all the jobs that were done, plans that were done, invoices, estimates. So wait, like, can I record a phone call? Can you record a phone call? Yes. For, for you know, verbal agreements. Yes, of course. So you can record the voicemail. Uh, you can record the call and get voicemails. So for example, if I go to my customers here, if I click on any customer, let's say this customer, it will open my phone system. I can call immediately if I had a phone number here, or I can text him. If I call him, so you can uh, start recording, and that recording will go in the customer profile under attachments, under call recording. You're going to have all these recording right here. So you have uh, that verbal agreement, like you say, uh, saved right here, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's how that works. Now, on the way, let me just show you, uh, on the customer level, you can do a few more things. So like I told you, if you want to add a column here, I can add any column I want by dragging and dropping. So if you want to select like this, select bar, or if you need to add a text field, I can just drag it. I decide where to put it. And then let's say I call it a, a DVR code or whatever it is, so I can save that. And now if I go to my customer and I, I click on create a new customer right here, I have this new thing called DVR code. So when you add new columns, it uh, integrates to your existing um, fields, like it was always there, so you can really custom it to your needs. And on the main view, let's say now I have this view, but I do want to see this DVR code right here and I don't see it. You can click here, see all the fields that exist. And for example, this DVR code, I want to add it. I just click here on this button and I have this DVR code. Oh, cool. Yeah, so now you have it on this table. Now, if you want to update this field, besides just by clicking and start changing things from the main view, you can click here, quick update, and you can just update this code. Let's say one, two, three, you click save. So now when I look at my thing, I can see here one, two, three, okay? And beside that, you can follow up with emails, SMSs. You can shoot an SMS, create a predefined SMSs and shoot to your customer. You can create greetings and shoot a quick greeting about your company. So you can uh, introduce your company and all the social links and stuff like that. You can schedule appointment, edit. And if you click on transaction, you can immediately send an estimate or invoice or check history or pending invoices, nice. electronic documents, anything you need. And then you can assign this member or this customer to one of uh, different members that you have in the team. And if you have other expenses, you can add an expense, like you just bought for him a system or something, you can just add that expense. So if you want, you add an expense. And then after that, when you do profit and loss, you can uh, do this kind of 
uh, checking how much you spend, how much you made, so stuff like that. Okay. Uh, Do you have any question about this? Not this so much, but let's go back a little. How do you take payments? Or I know we broke down the payments, but how do you take them? Like, yeah. do you not offer that through this? Right. So to take payment, first of all, you need to integrate one of the payment gateways. So from the main settings, you can go to payment gateways. We have three types of payment gateways as of now, and we keep adding payment gateways as we go. So right now you can integrate PayPal, Authorize.net, and Stripe. And the integration is super simple. You just click and just add the use a secret code and uh, the ID of the that uh, credentials that you got from Authorize.net. We don't charge any extra fee for that integration. So whatever deal you got with Authorize.net, that's worldwide visa. Uh, that will be much better than your current rate with QuickBooks. And again, we don't charge you anything extra. You can just set it up here. And then when you want to take payment, when we go to invoices, for example, number one, I can email you this invoice and you can pay me directly from your end. Or I can take payment right here. And for example, I have here PayPal. Let me show you an account that I actually have an integration there real quick. So in this account, I do have Stripe. So if I go to my invoices and I want to charge you these $60, let's say, I can click here, pay, and I can put Stripe, make a payment. You are about to take a payment of $60. Would you like to proceed? Yes. So right here, as you can see, I can fill out the information and just click pay now and you are done. Another cool feature that if we're already talking about that, you see here we have convenience fee. So you can set up a convenience fee from your main profile. So in this case, it's 3%. So let's say authorize.net charge you 2.5 or whatever percent, you can add that percent here. So when you're actually charging the amount, uh, it will add that percentage here and then you won't you won't need to pay it. You're not going to feel that uh, 3%. It's actually uh, going to be already calculated and will go to the customer. And, you know, it adds up to a lot of money in a year, 3%. Okay, tell me. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do that. And this tip amount, you can, uh, we added this feature for you. So when people pay, let's say you did a service call. So you can send this invoice and they can add 15% or 20%. So now they have like a bigger amount to pay you. And, you know, maybe they are happy with your service. Today, I'm sure you don't have any tip amount that people can pay you. So you can, or they can do a custom tip and then just leave you a specific tip amount. So then another cool way to maybe get a few extra bucks that you couldn't get before. Make sure. sense? Sure, sure. Um, yeah. What else would I be thinking that uh, it might want to do for me? How about, I don't know, uh, you were talking about dispatching a, 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 of text before and, and monitoring them, but uh, what about like at the end of the month? Can I see how many hours they worked and what I paid them? Yeah, so salary wise, we have actually four ways to pay salaries and uh, you can pay hourly based so hourly based you can go here to the clocking area and you can see all your people again let's log out from this and let's log into our demo account so again you go to your clock in people can clock in and out from their phone okay and as you can see here, when they clock in, you can see exactly where they clock in from, where they clock out from, how many hours they work for this week, and how much total money you need to pay per technician per week. Okay, and here you can see the total hours of all your employees for this week and the total amount. Now, if you want to see more than one week, you want to see two weeks, three weeks, you can always come here 
say, you know what, I want from the 16 to the 29, I want to see these two weeks. You can click search and you're gonna see all the hours break down for two weeks. So in these two weeks, this guy worked $1,500, this guy worked $1,200. And you can drag and drop it like that. And you can see that the total amount is three grand for these two weeks expenses. But beside that, you have you can pay with commission based, you can pay by the job. So for example, if you pay uh, by parts, let's say uh, if he installs a DVR, you pay $30. If you install a sensor, you pay $10, whatever it is. So you can pay them by the job. So it depends how you set them up in the system. That's how you see their breakdown money-wise. So, and again, this feature by itself gonna already pay the system uh, for you. So as you can see here, people don't, let's say this guy uh, should work eight to five, but you see he actually clocks in at 8.06 and he left at 4.02. So right here, you already saved an hour. I saved an hour. Here I saved an hour and a half. And again, you know, if you save five minutes there, 10 minutes here, it's up. It it's adds up. up. And in a month, you know, you save the system will pay for itself. The system will pay you even back. And because you know, you pay $25 per user. This user already just with these two days. Yeah, in a week. Already, exactly. Huh. Yeah, you don't okay. play, you don't need to pay blindly from eight to five and stuff like that, you know. Hmm. So, so that's how that works. They want me to show you how we do jobs, how you do the dispatch and the main part of the business? Absolutely, yes. Okay, so to dispatch and do job, you go to jobs here and let's create a job just for, to show you how it works. So for example, here we can go to, uh, we create a title, let's say install two cameras, okay? and uh, for nd whatever and uh, let's type a customer so the moment you enter a customer you're gonna find him on the map if you have multiple locations like i told you you can see the different locations here you can choose different location and mm -hmm. it will change it on the map you can enter a description so for example install two ip cameras on the side of the house Okay. Requirements, let's say bring a ladder. And then when do you want to install it? You can say tomorrow at 8 a.m., that's fine. And when you think you're gonna finish. If you don't know when you're gonna finish, you can leave it empty. If you know it's gonna be a short job, you can maybe give it a time frame. So you can say, okay, I want to finish at 12. And arrival window, let's say one hour window. That means that the customer will get an SMS that we're gonna be there between 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Nice. You can create a job category. So you can create like another folder and put it under a specific folder just to keep yourself organized. So I can put it under security cameras folder. And now you have an option to choose from this, David, maybe you have existing invoices. You can choose one of the existing invoices for this job. Or we're gonna do it hourly based or, so if you want, we can create invoice on the go. So I want to create an invoice based on an hour, based on a minute or a fixed price, let's say $500 and that doesn't matter how much I work or blank invoice, meaning uh, I come, I do the job and then I start building the invoice after the fact. And if I go for estimate, I can just do sale, no invoice needed. So if I do hourly, let's say, Sorry about that. How much do you charge per hour? Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Do you charge anything for trip charge? No. No. Okay. Service provided. Let's say CCTV. Now here again, it's another cool feature. Uh, depends on the service that you provide. Only the people that can actually do the service, you're gonna see them here. So, for example, CCTV. You see, I have five people that can do this job. But let's say alarm system it's more complex only four people can do that so that's cool because that will save you time to start figuring out who can do the job so cctv let's say i can put two people on the job or one person on the job 
Uh, here you can assign third party, like if you got this lead from a third party company, you can choose that company just so you know to pay them commission or something like that. Most people don't use it, but some people do. And uh, you can select a plan. I'll show you soon how you do that and what's the point of that. Yeah. And there is more features here that uh, we'll disregard for now. And then you can notify the customer and notify your technician. So if you notify the customer, it will send him a message, hey, we're gonna be there tomorrow between eight and nine. And if you want to change, give us a call and you can modify it as well. And it will send a message, SMS to your technician, hey, you got a new job, check it out, okay? So I can click here, save, job was added, so all good. Now I want to show you on the app how it's actually gonna work. So if I go to my app, as you can see, this is my app. I can check my calendar, invoices. So I can go to my jobs here. And I see there is installed two cameras for ND. I can click on the eye here to see what's going on with this job. Okay, so I can see uh, this, this spec. So for example, install two IP cameras, bring a ladder. And if I click on this phone number here, it's gonna actually try to call the customer. So as you can see, trying to call him. If I click on my way, it will send to the customer, hey, we are on the way to your location. We're gonna be there shortly. When we get outside, we can click reach. So, hey, we are outside your door. We're gonna be with you in a few minutes. Again, you can modify all that. I'll show you that as well. And then you can start, if you want, you can start mileage. And then when you get there, you stop the mileage. Some companies, and need to know the mileage because they pay per mileage. I don't know if that applies to you or not. And then we have this job location. So if I want to know where the client is, I can click job location. It will show me all the different options that I have on my phone. So if I have Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, whatever I install on my phone for GPS, it will come up. So let's say I click Waze here. It will open Waze and it will give me like the routing. Okay, so it gave me the thing and will tell me 30 minutes and I can start driving there. Um, now let's try to, to make this job happen and see how that feels. So if I click start time here, I click start time. So as you can see here, the time start ticking. I put my phone in my pocket. I start doing my two cameras. In the end of the day, when I finish, if I didn't finish and I need to come another day, I can pause it and then start it again. If I complete, I click here, completed. After I click completed, it asks me, uh, do you add additional cost? Like did you go to Home Depot, bought some piping or conduit or whatever? You can add here what you bought and then add a picture of your receipt. If you didn't add nothing, you can just click skip. So let's skip that. <clears throat> now it creates an invoice. So you see it says invoice. The invoice number, $100, that's what you charge per hour because it was less than an hour, so it's 100 bucks. You can add taxes or whatever. And then I can click Submit. So now the invoice was created. You can add more rows to that invoice. Now I'm asking a signature from the customer so the customer can sign with his finger like this. You can put a note. So for example, here I can say, uh, Two cameras installed. Okay, so that's done. And I'll change that. And then I can take a picture here. Okay, so I can take as many pictures as I need. So, for example, you see beautiful pictures that I'm taking. So here I can put a caption for this picture. So for example, two cams install, and then I can submit that. So let's just finish with that just to show you. Then it's asking for payment confirmation. So that hundred dollars, I can charge that client on the spot as a technician. I can take cash check or credit card. So let's do cash. So I took a hundred bucks and everything is done. Now on the other end, if I go to back to this screen of the jobs and I refresh this screen, 
So as you can see, the job is completed here. And the total amount is $100. So I can look at the report here and I can see the signature. I can see two cameras installed. I can download the picture to see what pictures the guy took. And if there was extra expenses, I would see them here. And then I can see when the job started, when he was on his way, when he reached, when he started, when he finished. If I need to, to download this report for future reference, I can just click here, download report. And then I can open that and see all the breakdown, the pictures, the signatures, and the extra expenses, whatever I had, so I can understand exactly what happened with this job. And as well, you can even download this invoice. So you can view the invoice and edit that if you need or whatever you need. Now, if I go to my invoices, okay, you can see that this job that I just created for a hundred bucks, it's paid in full. So there is nothing due. There is no extra payment need to take. So just uh, that, that's basically how you dispatch. Another thing about dispatching, just so you can see, we have here a thing called job schedule. So here we have a breakdown per technician. You can see exactly when they when they need to be. If it's an all day job, you're just gonna see it here as all day. If there is no job that uh, don't that have a start date but don't have an end time, so they're gonna be here. If there is job that have a start time and end time, you're gonna see them here, and you're gonna see exactly who is doing the job and all the description. That's per technician. Beside that, we have a calendar view that you can see all the month of all the employees, everything that is happening or per week or per day or a list view. Or you can do, for example, I want to see one of my employees and uh, just this guy, what you have going on. So you see, I see only a specific employee calendar. So you can do it like that as well. Again, you have a lot of options how to see the calendar and you can connect it as well to your uh, Google Calendar if you need. So that's how dispatch works. You can integrate it. You can see it per member in the job scheduling and you can break it down. Just last thing I'm gonna show you, that's a feature that nobody has. I didn't see it in other softwares. So for example, if you go here, we have a thing called planning. You can go to plan room and I can create a new plan and call it, for example, uh, two cams for Andy. And I choose the customer, Andy, David in this case. And then I write here, install two cameras. Okay, so now I created this plan, I can, I can add the picture so I can basically take pictures and upload them here or upload like a sketch, whatever I need. So let's say this is the front of the house and I want to add a sketch. So let's see if I have a picture of a house here. And okay, I have this cool house. So two camps. So you can upload different pictures one by one and design them. So let's say I have this house here. You can add icons and then drag and drop the icons. Okay, this nice. one, you can you can download the images like without the background, so it's gonna be cooler. Or you can just uh, start the marking. So you can say, okay, one camera here, one camera here, or you can text, okay, like here, it needs to be uh, 10 by 10 or whatever you need to sketch. And then if you need to add more images to this plan, you can add images and then you can save it. The cool part about that is that you can attach this kind of a plan to a job. So like I showed you before, when you create a job and you create a new job, I can add. So as you can see here, when I want to add a plan because I didn't choose any client, I don't have any plan. But now I created for David a plan so when I create a plan, when I create, uh, select David, I can choose here two cameras Andy. And then when I assign that to my technician and he comes physically to the job, he understands exactly where to install the cameras. He doesn't need to call you and start asking, oh yeah, you need to install two cameras. Where exactly do you want me to install them? 
Very nice. Very yeah. nice. So that's another cool feature that you can do. And uh, you have any other questions for me, Steve? It looks really good. Um, what's the cost? Okay, before I tell you the cost, if you don't have any questions for me, I just want to show you one cool feature that a lot of people use. And uh, so beside that, uh, beside the, everything I showed you, we have marketing that you can create email blasts and mail templates, like stuff like that. I'm just gonna show you like few cool tricks that you can do. So you can create like kind of marketing, add social media, build your own template. And then go to customers, and you can uh, you can bulk mark your customers and send everyone a greeting or an email, or if you want mass SMS everyone, so you can do full marketing tricks here as well. And one last thing, let's say, let's say you go to customization, and I go to bookings. That's a, a feature that a lot of people do. What's your company name again? Boss Security. Okay. What is your logo color? Blue. Blue. Like this blue is okay? Yeah, like ocean blue. Okay. So you can, uh, I can mark your hours and then I can choose like the services that I'm offering. Okay. And then I can save that and I can preview. So it will show you like that on your website. So people can come to your website, choose a date and time choose the service they need and fill out their details. And then it will send you an SMS and it will come as a lead. And then from the lead, you can start converting him, send him email, even run it through a sales funnel. It's really a big system. You can do anything you want. And last thing that I want to show you real quick and uh, that you can, all the SMS templates that I told you, you can organize it here so you can change on my way, SMS reached, all that you can uh, organize, even the birthday SMS to your employees, you can modify. You can really do anything you want here uh, yeah. on the customization level. And what I told you before about the estimates, you have, we have a page called pages. So you can create all your estimates, what comes in the front, in the back of the invoice, front and back what email comes out to the customer, if you need terms and conditions, if you need images in the estimates or invoices, if you want signatures and all that. So you can do that as well. And one last thing before the price, I want to tell you that if you need any kind of electronic documents, uh, that people need to sign agreements or so on and so forth, so we have a feature called electronic signature that is built in with us. And you can basically create a new electronic document. So you can create any type of agreement. Uh, for example, uh, alarm, alarm agreement. You can upload the file. So uh, let's see if I have some service agreement. So just so you know, because uh, that's uh, like one of our uh, main features that people use. So as you can see, you can upload the service agreement and then you can add a text box here. And it asks you, do you, is that a mandatory field? Yes, who gonna sign this, the office or the customer? So you can say the customer and so on and so forth. You can start dragging and dropping. Yes, customer, and you can even stretch it to fit your page. So you, you fill this out like the way you want, you can click save. And now you have this alarm agreement. So if now I go to any customer and from the customer level, I can just go to electronic documents and send electronic documents of that alarm agreement. I can just send it to the customer, he fills it out and it will be right here as well organized for you. So again, for future use, you can use it. Okay, so that's that's what I wanted to show you, so you know that that exists. Because well, let me ask you one more one more other question. What about scheduling? Let's say I have somebody that wants something done on a semi regular basis, like let's say quarterly. Um, how would I do that, or do you even you have mean, that? You mean job wise, or, yes. or a reminder that you need to remember to do it? 
No, let's say every six months they need a battery replaced or something along those lines, like okay. scheduling, planning. Yeah. So when you do a job and you assign a job, and I told you we have a thing called job category, and that basically like a folder where you want to put it under. Every quarter. Okay. Right. Gotcha. So, so this category, you can say, okay, I want it twice weekly, every quarter. And how do I set it up? So when I go, I have an option here. That was a good question, by the way, Steve. Um, when I go to job category here and I add a new category, let's say batteries uh, quarterly, quarterly, okay? So I can, oh, sorry. I'm actually trying to add a new category. So battery quarterly, I want it a recurring thing. Uh, how do I want it? I can do it quarterly, okay? So I click here quarterly and I click save. So now I have this new category. And now when I create a new job, okay, I can use this category batteries quarterly. So I know that this job will repeat itself every quarter automatically to let it on my calendar on a quarterly basis. And actually it will generate the job without assigning anyone. And then I can just click assign someone to it and send it to his way. So that's how you can schedule um, service for every quarter. Again, a lot of people use it, especially like people that doing service on a weekly basis as well, like cleaning pools or stuff like that. Not only that, you can actually schedule it on a specific time. You can say, I want uh, to, to service them every three months on Friday, every month on Monday, you know? So you can really uh, decide how do you want to break it down and how do you want to do that service. If you want just as a reminder, not as a job that's gonna be created, you can just click on the calendar, choose a day, let's say this day, and then I want to create a reminder uh, that repeats every three months, or you can do custom as well. So you can say, okay, every three months, I want to remember to replace batteries uh, for, for a specific customer. And that customer is baby. So I want it to be reminded. And then if I click save, it will repeat. So for example, replace batteries, Okay, save. And now every three months, I'm going to see battery replacement. I got you. So, yeah, what's, uh, it looks good. I'm just, uh, how much is something like this? How much that cost? So, the system, if we go out, we have a very simple pricing plan. So as you can see, if we go to pricing, uh, you get all the features. So again, about our system, we are not like other companies that uh, you know you have a price, but every module have different costs. So you start with X amount of dollars. Oh, do you want that as well? That's another 20. You want that? Oh, that's another 35. So we don't do that. You get all our features for only $25 a month. That's when you pay annually. Per member, if you pay month to month, is thirty-five dollars. So you're actually saving forty percent if you go on an annual basis. And admin doesn't cost you anything. So you, as the manager or the dispatcher, you don't pay anything. And your employees is one by one. You need to pay them twenty-five dollars per month per member. If that makes sense. And okay. we give you a free trial, so you can start your free trial right here or here you just fill out your information you can start using our platform for 14 days if you like it you can just then we're going to charge you basically that 25 dollars and again whenever you want you can always when you log into our system you can always upgrade your plan change the subscription cancel subscription downgrade anything you want we there is no contract so feel free to to use the system so, for your needs. I don't have to sign a one-year or two-year agreement. No, no. It's a month-to-month. -month. 
if you pay annually to save money, so you're going to have that membership for a year, uh, you can always cancel. But if you're already paying for the year, so I guess you're going to stay for at least a year. How but would I register? Start using with us that they don't leave. So how would I register for the the, the trial? Yeah. So uh, I, like I just said, you can come here from the main page. And you can click here for start free trial. Mm -hmm. Then you will register here. Okay. Okay. Looks good. A, when do you, uh, is that something that fits your needs, Steve? I believe it does. Um, and you're saying there's no other add ons, no hidden, like if I want to use this module, it's an extra $3.99 a month or nothing like that. No, everything is included. I'd like to, yeah, I'm going to register and see exactly what it can do. This looks good. Really good. Uh, how, how many technicians do you have, Steve? We've got uh, four trucks and two men to a truck. So that would be eight. And uh, yeah, so eight technicians, but I'd have two other people in the office. I probably want to use it as well. Okay. So again, all these people are basically going to need a member. And again, you as the admin, you don't need to monitor them. You don't need to pay for your system. And if they want, if you want them to use it as an admin, so again, they can use your admin membership as well. And then you don't need to pay for the people in the office. But if you want to track them, I, I would take for them a seat as well. And, I'm, but again, I'm just wondering thing, if I'd need uh, both men in the truck to have it or just one of them, but uh, that's to be determined. Yeah, so that's on you. If you want to track individually, either way, they need to clock in, clock out, and you want to pay them individually because not always they drive together or sometimes they split or something like that. So you still, I think, you need to uh, follow through and see exactly how much you need to pay them individually. I guess again, I don't. I'm not in your. Yeah, opinion. the cost is is cheap enough where that's not prohibitive by any means. Okay. Yeah. Uh, looks good. Um, so, so you're gonna register to us today? Give us a trial for 14 days. Oh yeah, I got nothing to lose, right? Except a couple minutes. But uh, no, I like it. I like it a lot. It's a lot better than what I'm using now. Okay, beautiful. I'm not gonna ask you what you're using now. I just want you to give us a try. And we can uh, give you a call like in a week to see how you're doing. One of our success managers will give you a call and we'll make sure that uh, that you are enjoying our platform and if we need to customize anything. So can we give you a call like next Friday to see if you need any help or just touch base with you again? Yeah, that'd be great. And I'll be using it by then, absolutely. Okay, Steve. Thank you very much. Happy Friday. I uh, appreciate your time. And if you need us uh, anytime, you can always use this chat to give us a, ask a question or give us a call or email. We're always going to be there for you. Okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. Have a Thank nice you. Day. You too. Bye-bye.